completed the high flow version of the eBay GT3582. So we'll take a look at our uh, classic cast wheel variety. Some minor porting on the housings and just keeping that original eBay balance on the wheels. So taking a look, just a bit of smooth out porting on the uh, compressor housing. Compare that to our high flow variety that actually got fully ported. Preserve the Max Peating Rod logo. Filed it in nicely. And then this one's got a, a billet wheel upgrade. But interesting thing on this uh, upgraded style, so it was the 360 thrust version. It also came with uh, an accumulator groove on the bearing, but I'll put this down, try to take a look at it closely. So the actual bore, uh, bearing bore, it had some vertical scoring Trying to get the camera to focus, but check out this bearing. Completely worn away, uh, right out of the box, brand new. So, manufacturer had uh, left some vertical score on the center section, the center bore, and it just wore out that bearing just during the VSR balance. So, I've removed both the original wheel and turbine, replaced it with individually balanced components. And I should do a video on uh, kind of best practice to assemble individually balanced rotor groups. But uh, this thing got full new bearing kit. I used the original 360 thrust. This is a center section from our uh, SR20 TB25. But to give you an example of uh, the scoring issue that was repaired. So of course this one doesn't have it. Come on, focus for me. But essentially, there was a bunch of vertical scratching right here uh, from manufacturer when something was like shoved down that bore after the uh, bore itself was created and honed out. So it necessitated a hone, uh, used like a nylon, like a diamond impregnated nylon uh, not a ball hone, but like a flapper style hone, and just gave it a uh, a, a reprofiling with about a two thousand grit, and then a polishing. So, uh, fix the issue, and it spins quite well now. You know, no issue at all. Uh, very comparable to the one that didn't have the problem. So minor issue, but I mean, that thing would have blown up. Like that bearing is just totally toast. Um, really shocking to see, but I, I think that's the type of thing that leads to eBay turbo warranty issues. And, you know, most turbo rebuilders probably replace the center section. Um, and if anybody's got a question about that, drop a comment. I'll make a separate video on process on how to smooth out that bore on the center section. If it's heavily worn... Um, creating clearance with the bearing, you're going to have a bigger problem. Um, in this case, I just flapped it down enough to, uh, you know, smooth it out and uh, knock the peaks off that vertical scoring. So there was like an unfeelable but visible vertical score left. But problem solved, it's all back together. So I got both turbos outfitted with uh, feed drain water fittings. Uh, the main thing that's going to make a difference on this is housing size. So in the foreground, it's like a 0.64 AR. In the back, a 0.82. So one on the right is going to make like 350, 400. One on the left is going to do like 450, 500, 550. Uh, turbines are the same. And I got them all outfitted... Uh, with flanges and nuts and everything ready to go. But truthfully, you know, that billet wheel, it weighs like two and a half grams. It's like 5% lighter. It's got uh, a little bit better profile through the nose, but ultimately it's going to be the housing that makes the power on this thing. So 
once I get a project that's worthwhile for something like this, we'll uh, see some results out of both turbos. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe.